if you were in this draft coming out of uh, college, would you be a first-round draft pick with the value that we place on running backs? I mean, I'd be the first overall pick. You would be? Yeah. Even though we don't value running backs? That's because the running back is devaluing himself. Oh, really? You, you, you have to understand <laughs> <laughs> it's the individual running back because that's what you allow uh, teams to do. Uh, you just said it, Khalil Mack. Uh, this game is about playing football. It's not about being a receiver, being a running back, or you're a slot receiver. Isn't that a good answer? If you play football, that's, that's all I ever said. You're a football player? When people ask me, oh, are, were you one of the greatest running backs? I was like, I don't know about that. But I know I was one of the greatest football players to ever play the game. And that's it. I, I, I played football. I wasn't just a running back. Um, the whole slot epidemic. I, I played in a slot. Yeah. Um, and and I don't, I'm not talking about just, just played. I mean, I lined up in the slot, played slot receiver, and we had great receivers that I played with. So – um, it's being – they're doing that to themselves. You know, this whole spread option thing, it, 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 it takes away a running back's ability to really uh, run two plays, inside, outside zone. The league consists of inside, outside zone. That's it. That's it. The spread option takes that away because now the quarterback, once he hands that ball off in your offset eye and he runs the opposite way, he's taking half the defense with him. Now you only have to read one or two blocks. And when you get to the NFL, that just that's not going to work anymore. What's what's a, a running gaining a thousand yards? Or if I said you could do half of that, and I could I could give you fifty catches. So if I I split what I would want out of running back, I could give you fifteen hundred yards rushing, or I can give you eight hundred yards rushing and you know eight hundred yards receiving. I'm gonna convince the back to take the rushing and receiving. Because with that comes about 10 to 12 or 13 years of playing compared to that 1,500 yards. You're going to have about six really good years and maybe three more injury plague years. Well, you if look, you're lucky. But, but you, th- th- you only have so many runs in you, right? Yes. I mean, your body's only got That's, a certain number, right? That is true. But the number of hits that you take. Now, you Barry Sanders didn't get hit That's, yep. very often. Uh, you didn't get hit, mm-hmm. um, but you start to look at the mortality of of uh, NFL running back. Why don't more NFL running backs look at it and say, "I need to be a receiver and a running back, not just a running back"? <laughs> um, you you're taught as a running back that the best way for you to have the ball is for them to hand it to you. And when I got to Indianapolis, uh, a, a guy named Ted Marsha Broda. Yeah. And our offensive coordinator at the time was Nick Nicolau. They were, they came with the whole Buffalo mentality. And, and what they taught me was, so what you're going to do is you're going to go past the line of scrimmage away from the big guys. We're going to throw you the ball. That's going to be like breaking through the line of scrimmage. And now you only have to deal with the linebacker safeties. And I was like, what? So instead of, this is another one, instead of us turning around and giving you the toss sweep, we're going to let you run out there. We're going to throw you the ball. Now the big guys, they're not out there. That's just like toss sweep. Unbelievable. And, yeah. and it, 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 I'm telling you, it took a minute for me to be comfortable with it. And then once I saw the value in it and how it helped my team, my last two years in Indianapolis, I mean, I, I worked that rushing and receiving thing really good. And when I got to St. Louis, I had it perfected at how, how my touches was going to be. I was in the – if I touched this ball 25 to 30 times, I don't care how it is. But you didn't get caught up in how many rushing yards no, I have. No, I, I, I never thought about I want to be the rushing champ because that, that don't help your team. I mean, many rushing champs don't win Super Bowls. Yeah, but you guys – ego. Ego plays a, a it part does. in this. It does. So I created my own ego with chasing down Roger Craig's 1,000-1,000. I mean, there's a lot of guys who've won the rushing champ. There's, a, there's guys who've – there's multiple guys who rush for 2,000. There's only two guys that catch <laughs> and, thousand, and, thousand. and rush for 1,000, 1,000. Did you know Peyton Manning was great? Yes. Like in – really? Yes. yes. And, and, and here's the thing. So uh, when you played with him, you, you could tell that he was different, even though he came in as I'm a not guy. Gonna, I'm not going to say different. Different is the wrong word to, the wrong word to use. Uh, Peyton Manning, he had the ability to lead men. 
and he had the skill set to get the job done. Now, the work ethic, it was bar none, <laughs> unbelievable at what he was able to retain and how he filed stuff away from game to game, snap to snap, week to week. But you also had a guy who was labeled as can't win the big one when he came in. Because yeah. he could never beat Florida, so they said, well, he can't win the big one. What, was there any witness to that like you saw and you go, he doesn't have that extra gear or that gene that says, I, in crunch time, I can win these games for you? Dan, I, I, I've figured out after working in media now for, what, eight years, that it's our job to find something wrong with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, minute, the, the minute he won the big one, yeah. can't win can the big one it? again. <laughs> That's our job. Uh, can you stay? Uh, we got Donovan yeah. McNabb coming up uh, with us. Uh, Marshall Falk joining us on loan from the NFL Network. They got uh, coverage tonight. Uh, first round coverage begins at 8 Eastern, but uh, their coverage, NFL Network, starts at 6 Eastern. So 19 after the hour, Donovan McNabb will jump in. Marshall will stay with us. This is the Dan Patrick Show.